Let me show you how to add the acceptance criteria field to your Jira issues. Don't ever miss out on capturing such critical information simply because this field doesn't come with Jira out of the box. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into Jira. All right, so in order to be able to do this, you do need to be a site level administrator because we're gonna be creating a completely new custom field. And so the first thing you need to do is you need to come up to the gear and then we're gonna click on issues. Once you're there, we're gonna come over to the left-hand side and look for custom fields. Once you are in custom fields, we are going to click on the button to essentially just add a brand new custom field. Now, when you're adding a custom field, there's a different variety of different custom field types that you can create. So pay special attention that you select the right one. So coming over here, we're gonna click on create custom field and we're gonna scroll down until you see this paragraph supports rich text. Now be very, very careful to make sure you pick this one because if you pick any other type, you're not gonna get the same results that we're gonna want from our acceptance criteria field. The reason this paragraph one's so important is because it's going to function like the description field, but its purpose is going to be only for acceptance criteria. So let me keep going with this tutorial here. So once you select paragraph supports rich text, click on next, and now we're gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna call it acceptance criteria. Optionally, you can give it a description. I hardly ever give my fields description, but usually the title or the name of the field is descriptive enough, but if you need that extra layer of just supporting text, feel free to fill out a description there. Once you've given your name and your description, click on the create button. We're gonna be taken to the settings where you're going to select where do you want this field, this acceptance criteria field to show up in. And so this one's kind of like a little bit of a chicken and egg situation because you need to know where you want the field before you make the field because otherwise you're going to be looking through this field section here and trying to figure it out. And it, it gets a little annoying if you kind of don't know where you want it. So my recommendations when you're gonna create a custom field, already come in with the understanding or at least knowledge of where, which screen is going to use it. It's not necessary, but it just makes this little section a little bit easier because you can, if you want to, just click update, not associated to any screen, and then later, you can go to the specific screens you want it in and add it in manually that way. But I'm just gonna add it to this turkey one here because it's the one that I saw. You will want to be very intentional though. You wanna be making sure that you add it to the right screen for the right purpose. So click on update and that's it. You really won't know anything happened unless you go and test it. So the easiest way to test it is you're gonna go to the create button. There is no saving or anything else you gotta do. Just click on create. Go to your project you just added it to. I added it to my turkey. And then go and find it in your screens. So as you can see here, it's down here at the bottom. Now, one thing you'll notice though, is that this does not really look like the description field. You see how the description field has normal text, bold, italic, a bunch of other different options? We wanna be able to add that because some teams like to add bullets so that they can organize or articulate their acceptance criteria a little bit better. Additionally, you could also put in a prompt. So you can put the given, when, then, or whatever kind of format you wanna follow, but you can give your team some guides as to how and what they should be putting inside their acceptance criteria. So in order to do that, we need to go and modify our acceptance criteria field so that it can support that. And let me show you how to do that next. So I'm gonna hit cancel here. And this acceptance criteria is what we wanna change. Now, the way to do this change is we are actually gonna go over to the left-hand side and we're gonna go down to our field configurations. We're gonna to go to the default one because unless you have a very special Jira where you've done a lot of field configurations, your default one should be the default that applies to every project. But if you do have a lot of these different field configurations, you're gonna to wanna to do it for each project that has a different field configuration where that field that we just created is being used. So I'm just gonna do it on the default one, but again, your mileage is gonna vary based on your specific configuration. So once you click into your field configuration, you're gonna be shown all of the fields. All you gotta do is find that acceptance criteria field. Mine happens to be at the top. 
and then come over here to the right hand side and click on this renders. When you click on renders, you will then be able to change it from a default one to the wiki style and then click update. And the wiki style is what you want. By clicking on wiki style, you're going to be able to essentially be able to have those bullets and formatting of the text. So let me show you what that looks like now. So I go back to hit the create button, change back to my turkey project and scroll all the way down. You'll notice that we now have their acceptance criteria with that ability to change the format. Now the last step is if you want to give your team some guide, some, some sort of um, a starter so that they can, so they know what information to put within the field, we're going to go back to custom fields. And then this time we're going to find our, our custom field that we just made, our acceptance criteria. We're going to come over to the right hand side, click on this ellipses, context and default value. And then from there, we are going to edit the default value here. When you click on that edit default value, it's basically going to tell us what do we want to put in there. So I'm going to put the given colon when colon then colon. Uh, you can put whatever you want here. This is just what I'm going to put. I don't know if it's 100% right. I should be looking it up before I do this, but I'm winging it here. But you can put whatever text you want. But there is a Gherkin model. I forget if it's given when then, but there's, there's something very close to this. And just go look up Gherkin if you're kind of um, interested in that. But I'm going to leave that here and then I'm going to click set default. Once that's set, now if I go click the create button, change into my project and go all the way down to the bottom, you'll see that my acceptance criteria is now um, able to support bullets and it has this prompt and you can essentially do whatever you need to do with it now. Now, again, your mileage is going to vary. You should configure this acceptance criteria field however you want, but this is typically how I configure it so that my teams can take advantage of having this field. Very, very critical field. I'm not sure why it doesn't come included out of the box. I feel like being an agile tool that Jira is, acceptance criteria is such a critical part of being agile that it's, it's almost like a no brainer to me. It's something that every Jira team should have inside their Jira issues. Anyway, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. Drop a like if you get value of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends, your coworkers, your peers, your family, anybody, your bosses, your Jira admins, anybody who you think could benefit from having access to over 350 different Jira related videos, share it with them. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need